Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samia and I create content based around remodeling. Today's video, we are on part two of my mom's closet renovation. Last week we did the full wardrobe, so the area where the clothes go in. Well, this week's video, we are making the shoe wall and building the dresser for the drawers and everything like that. Literally building everything. So let's go ahead and get started in this makeover. But before we do, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. It helps my videos to go further. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to put the shoe wall in and this whole entire wall is gonna be for shoes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pocket hole system to, which is what I've been using this entire project. So I decided that I'm going to also put pocket holes directly into the studs in the wall so my shelves won't bow in the middle. Now these shelves are not going to be holding a lot of weight but I decided that this is going to be the best method for me. Um, I've seen some people use it with floating shelves but these are not necessarily floating because they will still be attached on the sides. So we're going to go ahead and screw those shelves in this first level is going to be for boots and then the rest are going to be an average 10 inches apart. So heels, shorter boots, booties, anything can fit on there. But we're going to go ahead and try and put these in. So I just got done putting in the HD screws into the longer pieces. So these are the, going to be my side pieces for my dresser. And I put an HD screw right here at the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to attach those with some um, pocket HD screws. I got a inch and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and attach these pieces together so we can have the base. And then tomorrow I'm going to... Actually, I really need to draw out tonight, like the spacing and everything. Have a plan for my drawers, what the spaces are, and we're gonna make the build the drawers tomorrow, and then the day after that, probably Thursday, I'll build the drawer fronts. So, um, yeah, really, we should be done and moving toward in the right place to being done this weekend. Um, if not, we're pretty close, pretty darn close. <laughs>
I'm now switching over into building my drawer fronts. I decided to go with the shaker style look. I really love them and I also kind of followed this style when I built the bifold doors for my laundry room. So I'm going to follow the same exact method. So usually you will use the tongue and groove system, but I don't have the tools to do so. So what I'm going to do is use my router to create area that I can lay my plywood in. I'm going to use one fourth of an inch plywood to lay into that. does that look so I'm gonna sit my panels right there in the middle and it's going to look like a shaker style door without having to do the tongue and groove I just don't have the materials to do the tongue and groove so this was the best option I'm now going ahead and putting my drawers into the drawer box and this was quite tedious. Um, this is my first time building drawers and just anything like this and installing drawers. You have to make sure that they're so precise that they're installed correctly, the nice spacing and everything like that so they won't they'll close properly and your drawers will actually work. So I will be doing it again. It turned out fine but it was just, it took me the entire day to get it right. Hey guys, so we're here. Last day of working on this project. I'm really excited. Yesterday I got the painting done and today is another day. So I'm getting ready to put my wallpaper on. Um, I'm going to put it above the little dresser area so it can have like something, give a little pop in the room. It's not that much of a pop. You know, I like the neutrals. So we're going to keep it neutral, but a little something. So I end up picking up this wallpaper from, Ooh, can y'all see it? I ended up picking this wallpaper up from Lowe's. It was like $10 and I thought it was really cute. It was a nice texture and it was enough to do the job. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. It's just a peel and stick and it said it would be easy to come off. So let me show you all. Look at that. I feel like that's so fun. It kinda looks like stars. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna apply this. And I just bought some stuff to pull it and then I'm going to install my rods and I'm going to be done. We are coming so close to the end of this project. Also today I spray painted my, my rods gold so those are drying and you all see them in the end. I want to remind you all where we started with this closet. It was cluttered and it just felt like everything was caving in on you. But here is how it turned out. It's so much spaces. It just, you walk in here and it's just, it feels so much open. Like you have more space than you did before, but that's not the reality. It was just, we made a better system to utilize the space. And here's what it looked like once we brought everything in. It just feels organized. She has so much space. These are all the exact things that was in the closet before, but they're just, it feels so much better. 
But thanks so much, guys, for following along with this makeover. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and comment down below what was your favorite part of this makeover. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.